G'day, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Rod. You've joined the Pedal Picassos once again, but if it is your first time, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below, be part of the conversation. This is the second video that I brought to you on the EHX Canyons. The first one, I picked it up in a store um, nearby and there was no power supply with it. So bring it home, um, try standard power supplies that uh, I have for pedal boards and it, um, it was okay in a few modes. But then when I went to some modes that were obviously heavy on uh, voltage requirement, to the octave mode and the shim mode, uh, it didn't want to play the game. I went online and I actually found a number of uh, instances where people have actually said, hey, what's up with my EHX Canyons? It's doing this, it's doing this. Um, and the the common response has been, this thing needs 9.6 volts um, in order to work, in order to function. The, uh, the power adapter that comes with the Canyons from EHX is 9.6 volts DC. And in the manual it says, uh, use the EHX 9.6 volt DC adapter that comes with the unit. What if you haven't got one? And what if you've got 9.3 volts? I'm about to show you what happens with that. I've got a, um, a bucker in the, in the picture here, um, which is a DC voltage regulator. Input, I've got um, 18 volts going into this. I should be able to switch between this and show you. I've got 17.6 volts. So it is uh, from an 18 volt output of a pedal board power supply. Um, as it actually goes through this and it's actually doing some work, it drops 0.4 of a volt. Um, and I've got this dialed on the output setting to give me 9.66 volts. And the HX Canyons works perfectly. In all modes, particularly the ones, as I said, that demand quite a bit of it, which is the octave mode. Okay. And the shimmer mode. Watch what happens when I actually drop the voltage down. Got a teeny, teeny screwdriver here that should fit in this slot and help me dial this down. You watch the voltage drop. I'll keep playing. And it starts to sputter. It does not like the power supply. If I go to octave mode, we get the same result. The LED is just flashing. I bring my voltage up. So that's reading 9.07. I know this is under reading because I've used a multimeter on it to actually get the exact voltage on here doesn't like to play the game at nine volts. Um, and it, it's always good to check uh, the voltage outputs that you've got on your power supplies on your pedal boards, if they're degrading um, or if they're shorting out and giving you too much because you don't want to be frying pedals. Now this is saying it's working at 9.15 volts. I know I'm getting some shift here because um, uh, my delay setting has changed on the octave. So let's bring this back up.
I'm just going to bring it back there to the to the voltage that it doesn't like to work at. And I'll show you that the other modes are fine. So you might think that you've got a um, power supply uh, on this and it's working perfectly. But then you get around to this mode and it doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to play the game because our voltage is just, just a little bit too low. So, you actually heard that octave settle and wind in. So I'm gonna set that at 9.6, 9.61 volts. and it seems to work nicely. Um, in fact, it becomes, when you don't have to worry about, you know, your power supply um, not giving you the right voltage for a pedal to work, probably then you can explore the pedal and, and use it for what it's designed for, to give you some musical ideas. I was, I was playing before on, um, uh, on the Deluxe Memory Man setting, and going into the secondary mode here um, by pressing the tap uh, button um, or divide button and when it flashes you go into secondary mode for some of these knobs. Now the two knobs, the delay and the feedback knobs actually give you a secondary function. So in Deluxe Men Memory Man it's modulation rate and depth. So if we go That's really interesting. That tells me that something isn't liking The voltage because we've got this um, this climbing pitch. If I go into secondary mode settings on the tape um, emulation, I should get tape flutter modulation depth with my feedback knob and then distortion level with the delay knob. And you can hear that distortion and the degradation. I'll bring my modulation back a little bit. I'll bring my delay time back a bit. I'll go back to my Deluxe Memory Man. Let's bring my feedback controls. Right. Modulation depth and rate.
So there you have it. One of the touchier pedals that I've ever, ever played with. Um, voltage can be an incredible thing. I, I initially tried this with uh, um, two different power supplies. There's another video that I tried two different power supplies. It's supposed to be putting nine volts output at, at various uh, current levels. Um, it obviously wasn't enough. And the sweet spot for this is, you know, above nine volts. Um, and the manual says 9.6 plus. So 9.6 here and, and we're getting this to play. Um, in uh, octave mode, you've got your sub octave and your upper octave. We can turn our delay time right down so we've got an instantaneous octave up above and below. And it's very reminiscent of some of the EHX um, organ sounds. That's very cool. Shimmer, now that we've got the right voltage on it. In the secondary mode in Shimmer, um, your delay becomes uh, a low pass filter. And look, it's doing more than that. And that's that pitch drift. Um, your feedback knob is your modulation depth. Bring it right down. If you want to get some really warped pitch shifting and you don't have to go far with the modulation, up there, oh, it's really bent. And I find sometimes you've actually got to shift these pots back to their, their zero position to get that um, range back to something uh, that hasn't been lost in this machine. Your delay and feedback now in normal modes. You can now set a delay on them. So that octave and that shimmery effect is, is delayed first. You've got your standard standard signal and then um, all the fun stuff. So it starts after your delay. So there you go. Um, <laughs> look, it's been a bit of fun for me just to get this, this right and get the voltage right on this pedal. I know now that if I'm ever going to use this on a board, I need to have that voltage set right. I've built a couple of power supplies for some other um, boards that I have using these buckers and set the voltage exactly, put them in a box, just uh, and then um, have them out of harm's way. Um, they're, they're very cheap. You can get things like this for you know less than 10 bucks um, on eBay. And I've had some with LED displays, some without LED displays. But thanks for tuning in. If you've got uh, any um, anything to add, please do. Um, drop something in to the conversation below. And we'll see you next time. Cool.
Thank you.